Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Niji Joe episode number 13 reaction. Right, the previous episode, oh, we had um, uh, Yuko go to school doing her homework for probably the first time and she forgot her uh, notebook and uh, tries to like you know copy it from someone else realizes it's from uh like you know it's like in a worksheet format and she's by the end of it she's like oh my god like what was the point like she 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 was so happy about doing the homework after so long <laughs> and she ended up completely forgetting about it and a few other things happened there was that section with the in the amusement park where yuko uh, gives Mio her uh, purse and she just loses it and for the rest of the day Yuko's face is like <laughs> completely <laughs> you know just uh, like you know like the, the red and like you know the red and white type of a background you know and the like you know the way he was looking at uh, everything it was just hilarious and there was that section with the where that girl goes to like a shooting uh, like you know like in a festival like kind of, kind of goes for shooting uh, practice like getting some prizes unfortunately all the prizes were all just rigged <laughs> and she gets in the end like a half an eggplant um, and there was also that section with Hakase and uh, um, Nano where Hakase puts like a fake key behind her back and she's like oh I'm Nano today and <laughs> Nano tries to kind of like you know trick her into taking out her own uh, key but uh, Hakase was like no I'm not going to do that <laughs> and Nano gets pissed off, tries to like, eat her snacks and Akase is like, no, this is mine, I'm not going to give it to you, even though I'm Nano now, this snack is mine and <laughs> that was funny. So yeah, let's see what this episode brings, this is episode number 13, so let us begin. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let's see. All right, we begin with an everyday scene. <laughs> what? Oh my God, professor. And he's still going there. Okay. <laughs> At least he got the fish. Oh no. Great. No more food. <laughs> oh, are this. Wait, does Nana want to go to school or something? Like I've seen her before as well, kind of look at, like, you know, the students. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, she's going to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Sakamoto. <laughs> She's. Everything is like Sakamoto. <laughs> ah, that's like a convenient excuse.
<coughs> okay. Look, oh, you goes here. Oh, did you like run or something? Oh, she is feverish. Ah. Oh. Probably has a fever. Um, attendance? Oh, I stop. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she's throwing up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop, is that the magic trick? <laughs> uh, yo. Yeah. Or maybe. Oh my god. Yo, it just flies away. Um. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, is that part of the trick? Uh, another, another trick. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see them. Unfortunately, there. <laughs> oh, she 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 has a lot of others as well. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. All, oh no, she's gonna sneeze. Um, dodge them. Damn, imagine this happening in 2020, 2022. People will just run. Wait! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> Yo, take her to the infirmary. Send her home. <laughs> uh, okay, what is this? Obviously, more snacks. <laughs> well, nothing for you. Oh, then what? Um, Yeah. <laughs> Shark sponge cake. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> uh. She's going to throw a tantrum or something. Yep, there you go. I knew it. She's going to throw a tantrum. <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> Is this how they're going to go? Oh my god. She ended up buying it. <laughs> well, if someone does something like that, <laughs> Maybe I should scold. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're photocopying. What is that? Some kind of a poster. Eighty point. Mongol. Oh, she got that much? Um, okay. Okay, stop! <laughs> I got 96. Listen. <laughs> Little miracle. Wow. All right. Wait, is it in slow motion? <laughs> oh, everything's going in slow motion. She she wants to see how much she got. How much? Is this the? This is the 80 points. <laughs> 80 points. All right. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Reality. Oh, this is the vice principal. <coughs> oh my god, the grandson again. Ah, uh, hopefully, that's what happens. Wait. Oh my god, yo! <laughs> what, what is this kid? What is this kid learning in school? Yo, this kid! <laughs> he has his priority straight, I guess. Oh my god, what? Oh. Alright, here we go. Help it get ten. The music always creeps me out. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Oh my God, it's gonna huge storm coming. <clears throat> this Akasis place. Yeah. Where's Nana? Oh, there she is. <coughs> Sakamoto will be. Oh boy, she, like you know, Sakamoto's a cat, so it'll be so difficult for him. Where is she? Oh, okay. I think Sakamoto's in. No. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Sakamoto's here, I think. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> the dragon by the tail. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I like I said, Sakamoto's going to be... Okay, Sakamoto's fine. The storm hasn't started. 
<laughs> oh, this is problem. Why not take Sakamoto with you? <laughs> oh God. This <laughs> is <Just> dreaming. <laughs> Take Sakamoto with you at this point. <laughs> oh boy. Smack her awake. <laughs> Yeah, like I said. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. E oh boy. Wow. <clears throat> god damn, that thing is strong. Why is it not breaking off? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a cat, you're also going to... Mm. <laughs> I'll go with an... Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the shock. <laughs> My God. <clears throat> yeah. Like he said. Oh, she's awake. Yeah, and she also peed on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sakamoto is frozen. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Yo, is, is the window pane broken or something? Or is that water droplets? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, the lightning. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> yep there you go I knew she was going to bring that up Oh my god, yo! Okay, well, yeah, the chimney is gone. Oh, did the light also go off? Oh my god, yeah. Uh, the electricity is gone as well. D did she pee her? Oh my god, she. Yeah. <laughs> Short thoughts. Okay, let's see what's in this time. Hmm. <laughs> oh. 
okay. She is still... She is still going on with this. Uh. All right, stop. <laughs> Eden. Average. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Average is 92. What type of test was that? Oh, yo, the bird. <laughs> oh, excellent luck. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Don't trip. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh wait how like, did she <laughs> so wait so she made preparations for that <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, does she realize that she has to do a lot of housework then? <laughs> Oh, this is that a custom made custom made <laughs> for the key behind her back you know <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay so from the next episode she's going to school so i'm guessing she's going to meet all the other ones all the other characters after this she already kind of saw them before but yeah All right. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, this guy. I, I know this voice. I know this voice. Uh, Ogata Megumi. Ogata Megumi. I've heard this voice so much. I don't can't properly pinpoint it. But. Who is this voice? In, oh my god, I can't remember. Okay, Ogata Megumi. Wait, Shinji Ikari from Evangel? Oh, really? Hanako. Oh, there you go. Toilet, uh, toilet bound Hanako. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Like I was saying, it's, I've heard the voice somewhere before. Wait, he's also Shinji? Yeah, okay, okay. I can also hear it. Hmm. All right. Any, any new, uh, any other show? Hmm. Card Capture Sakura Yukito, okay. Uh, Kino's Journey, Tangan Rompa, Assassination Classroom, Itona Horibe. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, these are the main ones. Okay, huh, yeah, the Toilet Point Bound Hanako, yeah, like, the, I remember it now properly. Alright, so this was episode number. 13 we begin this episode with sakamoto being <laughs> lured into a trap an obvious trap which sakamoto decided that ah it'll be worth it you know <laughs> the, the bait is worth enough but unfortunately <laughs> the trap itself uh, was quite you know harmful to him like it, it injured him and he just got flung around <laughs> Obviously, by the end of it, Nano ended up confiscating the half-eaten fish, and she was like, "We don't have anything else, and now, like you know, we, we won't be getting any more food like this. Like this was the last of it. We need to go to sh shop again." <laughs> now, while all of this was happening, uh, Nano looks outside and sees, you know, like a lot of students going to school, and we saw this before as well. Her, she has this mm, like you know like this kind of a thing where she wants to go to school From before in the previous episodes as well we kind of saw uh, just longingly looking at like you know students going to and fro from school so yeah looking at that obviously sakamoto realized what's happening and sakamoto was like oh well don't you think she wants to go to school and <clears throat> Like obviously, at first, Professor was like, 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 you know, Hakase was thinking that if she goes to school, it'll be like, you know, like, almost, like, almost, not a half, but I, would, but I would say, like, one third of your day is uh, spent at school. So, at first, Hakase was like, no, like, you know, you're not going to go anywhere. And she's like, and Sakamoto told me that you, you're going away or something. And Nana's like, what the hell are you saying? No, we're going to go to buy some... The kind of groceries and but we could see you know like that longing that she has for going to school now a few things we should think about in this situation is that <clears throat> like i don't know like i feel like like she, she kind of like you know, does most of the things in the house and uh, go, going to school means there is a certain amount of time you ne would need to actually invest in that like i said one third of your day ends up being in school uh, a few extra time you also need to review some stuff maybe like you know like you know whenever there's a test and everything like you know learn and like you know study uh, i i guess hakase could help him with her with that you know like studying especially because she's intelligent and uh, not only that like you know homeworks and stuff so basically like at least like every day like eight to ten hours is going to be not eight to ten hours i think that's uh, quite a lot like seven to eight hours i think will be kind of involved in this so after that she needs to i'm pretty sure she needs to do the housework as well obviously hakase cannot do it she's still a child and sakamoto is a cat so <laughs> yeah so she needs to do the majority of it as well so it's gonna get busy but you know like people when they want something and when they are like you know fascinated with something uh no amount of problems can stop them from continuing to do that so if you really love and enjoy something, so there you go. Um, I'm pretty sure by the end of it, when Hakase was like, yeah, you're, you're going to go to school. 
I'm pretty sure everything's going to go well. We'll see. I'm guessing from the next episode, we'll see that. All right, that was the first part. The next part, we get to see more of Yuko, where Yuko's sick completely. She's just coughing and just dying almost. But she came to school not because of attendance, not because of something else, but because she wants to show Mio a magic trick. Not one, but a few. A few magic tricks she wants to show her. And she's just coughing in the... <laughs> in front of the classroom and <laughs> while she, she was like you know trying to make herself steady most of his her tricks kind of come out of her bag literally you know comes out of her bag <laughs> first of all the little b dove or the bird I, I, I think that's a dove isn't it or i don't know what bird that is but whatever it is or is it a pigeon i think i don't know anyways either way it comes out and <laughs> starts hopping on top of her head and then by the end of it ultimately just flies away then the the thing um the, the the stick thing where like you know like feathers come out that one comes like you know um out of her back and uh, it's just the, the whole trick kind of comes out out of the bag and uh, i remember we used to have like and i i used to also have one of those sticks you know like when we used to have like festivals and fairs uh, like you know these magic tricks there's a lot of uh, stores that that used to keep magic tricks i loved kind of going into those stores and buying cheap little tricks magic tricks you know they were not that like you know obviously not that um like you know uh, amazing or stuff but just small little toys that kind of was able to do a few magic tricks i remember there was like a stick like that as well which i bought before where these feathers used to come out you know <laughs> so yeah anyways um so that comes out and mio takes it and hides it behind her back obviously not to kill her enthusiasm off she she did so much things to come to the school and she doesn't want that to go like you know get uh, like you know destroyed and the card also comes uh, out and it's just all like you know it's just all outside oh no the card comes out later sorry um yeah so yuko tries to show the trick um, takes out like a coin and a cigarette and she's like oh this is going to go through it unfortunately the, <laughs> the middle of this like you know coin is already crossed like you know like gone the, the cover is gone <laughs> so yeah it's going to bound is bound to fail not only that the cards come down and like you know see that card also has a lot of tricks in it and uh, my god and then in the end she sneezes so hard that something flies out like a like a, like, a, like a string of like you know flags and everything which had like an ace of uh, hearts in it <laughs> and Mio's like what type of the trick were you thinking on showing me and then when she looks at Mio Mio is just fallen down on the desk and <laughs> the cigarette has been squashed she hasn't wasn't able to properly do the trick <laughs> oh god <laughs> and in the end <laughs> Mio comes up uh, like you know stands up and she's like rest in peace <laughs> okay the next part uh nano hakase they go shopping and obviously nano doesn't want hakase to buy more um what do you call them buy more uh snacks yeah so she's like i'm not going to buy you anything you know like you know you like you know you already got your stuff and <laughs> This this part was so I have to say realistic, like you know the way Hagase was trying to kind of like you know kind of try to trick her in her own way to get to buy some snacks, and by the end when nothing worked, just throwing a tantrum. That was so realistic. Kids kids basically do that. <laughs> she at first she's like, oh like you know I'm going to buy a snack, and Nana's like no more snacks. She's like um uh okay no maybe it's not snacks but something else you know and she's like no not nothing i'm going to buy nothing for you and she's like then what are, am i going to buy if it's not a snack or not anything else <laughs> like the, the like the way she's doing this and after that she tries to kind of weasel out that or that situation she's like oh i'm not going to buy it for me i'm going to buy it for sakamoto nano's like nothing for sakamoto as well he also misbehaved and then Hakas is like, oh, nah, not Sakamoto. For you, I'm going to, we're going to buy it for you. <laughs> and, and 
and she's like nope not for me as well and then when nothing is working you know like oh then they go past like a shark sponge cake and when all those tricks are over nothing is working like the final trump card obviously all kids have just <laughs> throw, a, throw a tantrum oh boy i remember this happening you know like in <laughs> Oh boy, it's like I, I was quite like you know young at that uh, time, and it's so like you know it was so astonishing that it like it's still ingrained in my mind that I saw like a kid like throwing such a tantrum in the middle of the road, just crying and sitting, just completely like in the middle of the road, sitting down and just crying at the top of the lungs, like I want to buy it, I want to buy it, and the mother was like, no, you're not going to get it. And then the mother was like, I'm going to leave you, you know, I'm going to leave you. And just she just starts walking and the child starts crying even more. <laughs> and in the end, the mother kind of drags him out of that place. And it's like, come with me, like, and just holds her, his hand. And she he keeps crying and she, her mother, his mother keeps dragging him out of that place. And oh my God, that was so crazy. It's still ingrained in my mind. <laughs> Ultimately, she did not buy it, which is obviously like, you know, like you need to be harsh on like you know like uh, especially at that age like you know like when you can't buy something you know like otherwise obviously you like you know the, as the child grows up he or she will think that oh like you know whatever i'll say i'll get you know that type of an attitude they will have which is obviously not okay <laughs> but oh boy you know, you know the whole section was so funny hakasa just lies down on the ground and starts just throwing a tantrum nano goes <laughs> they can kind of go the distance She's like, nope, I'm not going to listen. And then she, she's like, or maybe, looks back. And Hakata's still throwing a tantrum. She goes away and Hakata's going a little by little. You know, I love the fact that she's actually kind of going behind her just so that she doesn't lose her. You know, she doesn't lose, like, you know, she doesn't go away too far. So when she's started, starting to walk, uh, Nano, Hakata gets up, starts walking behind her. And as soon as she stops and looks behind, she again falls down and starts throwing a tantrum. <laughs> And yeah, by the end of it, obviously, Hakase wins. And Sakamoto's like, what the hell? You, you said you weren't going to buy something for her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the, how Sakamoto was like, you know what, being the elder, I should let her know that throwing, a tran throwing tantrums is not good. And he's like, uh, hey kid, like, you know, like, uh, you're always throwing a tantrum to get your way. That's not okay. Don't do that. And Hakas is like, okay. <laughs> Sakamoto is like, what is okay? <laughs> Obviously, I doubt she's going to stop throwing tantrums. She's definitely going to do that in the future. All right, the next part. Uh, the, the 80 marks, the 80 points that she, like Yuko got. She's so happy. She's so, like, you know, just, she's like, yes, I got 80 marks. Like, look at this. And, and at first, you know, Mio was kind of trying to, like, you know, kind of uh, making her a little bit, try to make her a little bit happy, kind of giving her more enthusiasm. She was like, oh, that's really great, you know, like, what's your secret, you know, you know kind of gassing her up. And <laughs> she's like, yes, you know, like, you want, like, you know, I, you want to know, I'm not going to tell you. And then she was like, you want to know the 80 marks, what it's about. And she starts chopping her on the neck. And that's when Mio starts getting annoyed. She's like, okay, like, you know, you know, I, this is kind of enough, I think. And she keeps chopping her on her neck and she keeps doing it so hard. And in then Mio was like, stop, like, you know. And not only that, after that, even like when in, in class, Yuko's just telling her like, oh, 80 marks, 80 points, 80 points. <laughs> I lost it when she said like, yeah, I understand. I myself got 96. I was like, wow, I, for a moment, I actually thought, you know, Yuko actually scored more than uh, Mio. But turns out, no, the, the, the mark test itself was pretty easy. <laughs> and then we get a little slow motion of the, 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 you know, the expression on her face. I, I love the, the how it escalated little by little, you know. Uh, at first, she was kind of scared and wasn't looking at the test paper. She opens her eyes at first and uh, looks at it the marks she's surprised she's like what 80 80 marks is, is it is this real and then she's like when it started settling in she's like oh 80 marks her eyes kind of softens down and then she realizes the actual like you know situation 
and she realizes she never brought this marks amount of marks before so her eyes start tearing up and is sparkling and she's just astonished happy and then she just jumps says hooray oh boy oh my god the next part that was so funny the the, the vice principal was like oh they cannot like uh, his, his daughter is here she's gonna make some food for him obviously the grand child is also here and he's like uh, uh the vice principal is like oh like you know today i won't look at reality i'm going to have fun with my grandson and the grandson comes in and the grandson is like where's your seal you know bring it out <laughs> and the grand the, <laughs> the vice principal is like oh this is even worse than reality <laughs> like what like what what is what type of shows are this kid what is this kid watching you know like i'm pretty sure he, he got that from some kind of an anime or some kind of a tv show you know like where's the seal bring it out <laughs> oh god and then a little helvetica standard and after that um the thunderstorm you know the storm is going to happen nano is uh, not nano sorry hakasa is scared nano is sleeping so Hakasa is like, okay, let's go and sleep beside Nano. The other side, obviously, the key is blocking her way. The other side, Sakamoto is just sleeping there. And <laughs> I, I love the fact that she woke up Sakamoto first, grabbed him by the tail, started dragging him out, and then just goes behind, uh, like, you know, beside Nano and tries to go to sleep. <laughs> and Sakamoto's like, what is happening? Why am I here? And then she realizes she needs to go to the toilet. So what should she do? She tries to wake Nano up. Unfortunately, Nano's not waking up. Nano's in deep sleep. And, you know, like probably dreaming about something related to Hakase. And is like, uh, Nano, wake up. And she's kind of sleep talking, you know, like uh, saying weird stuff. And Nano's like, no, I want to go to the toilet. And at all this commotion, Sakamoto wakes up and Sakamoto's like, oh my God. Go, go to the toilet, like, you know, like, just, like, stop throwing it, like, you know, like, like, you know, in the middle of the night, stop making noise. And she's like, no, I'm scared. And the, you know, the lightning strikes and she kind of pees herself a little bit. And she, she's like, you know what? Nah, let's go to sleep. She just goes to sleep. I was just saying up until now, like, why was it, isn't she taking Sakamoto with her? And... <laughs> So that also went through her mind. And Sakamoto was like, okay, you know what? Being the elder of this house, let me just help her out. And she, Sakamoto's like, hey kid, let's go. You know, I'm going to accompany you. <laughs> and Hakase's like, no, you're small and weak. I don't want to go with you. And bam, that was it. Sakamoto's like just petrified after that. <laughs> oh God. Now, here, she kind of looks at Nano and she thinks about the situation before and she thinks about whether Nano actually wants to go to school or not and uh, but obviously the most concerning situation she needs to go to the toilet so Nano kind of wakes up at this moment and Sakamo, uh, um, Hakase is like Nano let's go to the toilet and she goes and accompanies him all while Sakamoto is petrified and so basically uh, nano was kind of afraid of i'm guessing the noise that was happening not nano sorry uh, Saka, uh, akase the noise that was happening on top and also i'm guessing the the darkness and everything while nano herself was scared of the lightning so they were kind of going up together and nano you know the, the lightning falls nano scared of the lightning so all of that was happening now Hakas is like Nano do you want to go to school and obviously Nano at first was like nah I'm not going anywhere I'm, I'll, I'll be with you here and uh, like the conversation was happening at that moment now Sakamoto, uh, Hakas is like but Sakamoto said that you want to go and she was going to say something but it comes drops the lightning and uh, yeah like it, it blacks out completely the whole like the electricity goes i'm guessing nano's just scared and hakas is like oh my god she just beat herself at that moment i think and that's where the whole conversation ends about the school you know and then we get like the short thoughts and again oh my god um what's what's the name uh yuko's like bragging about the 80 marks and here we get to know 
when the teacher announces that the average marks is 92 so, <laughs> so she scored lower than average obviously and <laughs> you know like you was like oh my god what the hell was i doing and i was so so happy and yeah this is the state and then in the final section obviously sakamoto is sleeping hakas comes and heads butts him and she's very happy and she's like nano you, are, you you can go to school from tomorrow and nano's very happy nano's like really and so i'm guessing hakasa kind of did some of the paperwork and everything probably uh uh you know like contacted the school she even made like a um like a custom made uniform as well uh obviously the kind of nano doesn't like you know try to what can i say like, get off the like, kind of let go of this opportunity too. so she's like oh the key can you take it out please can i need to carry your backpack and the school uniform will be problem like you know to it will be problem to wear it <laughs> again hakas is like nope you know and then she's like here you go I'll, I'll, like you know custom made uh, school uniform and nano and hakase you know like hug nano hugs hakase and yeah both are just happy so I'm guessing from the next episode we are going to see Hakase in a school uniform. Uh, not Hakase, sorry, Nano in a school uniform. I do wonder what they're going to do with the key, which we'll see, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing school from the next day onwards. And I do. <laughs> oh, obviously Hakase is kind of thinking like, oh, like you know, like when she's going to go to school, I'll eat all the snacks. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah. And that was it so that's it guys and that was my reaction to episode number 13 of nichi uh half of the show is over and i'm going to, i'm guessing from the in the next half we're going to see hakas uh, nano in school a little bit of her in school as well maybe she'll meet the characters uh mio yuko and all of them you know so yeah so that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to episode number 13 of nichi if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it and um, yeah thank you for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of nichi joe until then goodbye and have a nice day